एन ऑसम गुड मॉर्निंग टू माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स राइज अप स्टार्ट फ्रेश सी प्राइड अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर देयर डियर चिल्ड्रन एजुकेशन इज नॉट प्रिपेरेशन फॉर लाइफ एजुकेशन इज लाइफ इट सेल्फ सो लेट स्टार्ट आर ऑनलाइन साइंस क्लास विद दिस मोटिवेशनल थाट सो इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैड रेड चैप्टर नंबर एट हाफ चैप्टर वी हैड रेड एंड आई हैड एक्सप्लेन यू नेक्स्ट हाफ वी विल बी कैरिंग आउट टूडे सो इन लास्ट क्लास वॉट वी हैड रेड वी हैड रेड वॉट इज अडेप्टेशन and after that what are aquatic plants how they are adapt- adapting according to their surroundings fish swimming desert plants camels right so today we will be continuing with the next part that will be starting cold climate cold climate polar bears live in the arctic region which is icy cold so nature what nature has helped them nature has fitted them with a thick coat of fur they also have a thick layer of fat under their skin why for extra protection so that they can protect themselves from icy cold from the cold since their fat is an energy bank as well this layer serves them well when there is a shortage of food when there is a shortage of food then they provide energy because of fat and because of their coat of fur they can protect themselves from the cold penguins seals whales walruses and other animals that have to put up with very cold conditions they also have thick layer of fat next is migration dear students what is migration migration is some animals travel or migrate from one place to another to avoid very cold conditions and shortage of food so what they do, they do they migrate they travel or migrate from one place to another to avoid very cold conditions and shortage of food for example many birds fly hundreds of miles to india and other warm countries in winter these winter visitors or migratory birds are the delight of bird watchers in our country birds often migrate from one place to another within our country to especially from the himalayas to the northern plains insects fish and some mammals also migrate to avoid harsh weather so dear students migration is what they move they travel from one place to another to avoid very cold conditions and shortage of food many birds fly hundred of miles to india and other warm countries in winter why to protect themselves from cold conditions these migratory birds are the delight of bird watchers in our country they often migrate from one place to another within con- country to next is birds the entire body of a bird is adapted for the flight it has wings instead of four limbs the wings are covered with feathers so that air cannot pass through them when a bird flaps them against the air so birds are for what they are for flying flight because it has wings and these wings are covered with feathers the bones of a bird are hollow to make it light so that it can fly dear students the bones of the bird are empty nothing is there why so that it can fly its muscles are strong to help it flap its wings its eyesight is sharp and help to see its food from the air and it has extra little lungs for air sacs to give it to extra energy it needs for flying right so birds are for what they are for flying it has wings and wings are covered with feathers so that air cannot pass through them when a bird flaps them against the air the bones of a bird are hollow to make it light so that it can fly it muscles are strong these are penguins cold climate these are migration of birds from one person to another person from one place to another place 